Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today I'm going to be going over 98 overall signature series Yadier Molina. This card is obtainable through hitting World Series this season. He was an old World Series reward, or you can buy him off the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 85,000 stubs. So this card has been out for a long time, but it's one of the catchers I haven't reviewed yet. And I've had a viewer consistently ask me two or three times if I can review this card. So even though it's been a long time, I went ahead and threw him in the lineup just for that guy. So I hope you enjoy this man. And anyone else who's wondering about that this card, I hope you enjoy this too. Um, pretty much, I think this is a tier 2 catcher. I think the best comparison I can make is that he's like Pudge without the speed. So a little bit worse than Pudge. But exemplifies a lot of the same characteristics as Pudge. Um, not the greatest swing in the world, really just a contact swing. This card does not hit for a lot of power. Um, lots of singles on good squared up, which is okay. You'd rather have singles than outs, but... Just in general, on good swings, wasn't generating a lot of power, especially against right-handed pitching. Um, and defensively, I felt played pretty well below his ratings, similar to Pudge as well. Um, did not really feel the 96 blocking. A lot of balls that someone with 96 blocking should block got past Yadier Molina. In fact, I think more often than not, he did not block regular pitches that I've seen a lot of other catchers in the game block this year. So, um, in general, I don't think he's one of the best catchers in the game. I think he's a pretty average to above average catcher. Um, I personally won't be using him in my lineup uh, for any of my teams, but uh, definitely more than serviceable if you're a huge Cardinals fan. This is not the worst catcher in the game by any means. In fact, he's probably still top 10, just not up there with a lot of the goons at the catcher position. So pretty quick review on this guy. Not a whole lot to say. Just to summarize, I think he's pretty much exactly like Pudge, except for less speed, uh, but plays pretty much the same way. So um, as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta, and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him a B-, minus, and for how much he costs, I'll give him a C- because 85k for a catcher like this, I think, is really expensive. Um, when you can grab someone like Brian McCann for about 20k right now, who I think is far and away better than this card. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this card review. For the one guy that was asking me for Yachty, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Enjoy the clips after this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. This is the second game in a row I pitched with him, and he did pretty well uh, last game. Yachty! I think he's, I was saying earlier, I think he's going to be pretty good. Oof. Blowing it open, dude. I've scored a run in its seven straight innings. Did Yachty finally get one? Let's go, dude. Nothing I can do about that, dude. Please be a hit at least. Alright. I knew it wasn't gone off the bat. 